there's a lot of talk lately and it's kind of been a thing about like content vultures and all stuff like that for fighting games you know people are snatching matches up from the replay channels kind of been a thing since like street fighter 4 or channels like yoga flame other channels popped up like zeus's and others and you know a lot of it is just to showcase high level gameplay right now mad people have been getting a little upset about it because like oh you know those are my matches that's my content blase blase whoop de woo and it's like well there's a replay system you also chose to play ranked there are ways you could turn it off especially in strive so it's kind of like what are you upset for you know what i mean i get it if they snatched it from your stream then that'd be upsetting you know what i mean because they took your content that that's actually your content right what's on the stream is your content like me talking right now on my stream to you guys this is my content right what I put on my YouTube, that's my content. What I put on my social media platforms, that is my content. But it's a replay inside the game. Now, one of the biggest issues I see with this is people complain about it because they want the revenue from it. So they feel like, oh, I'm missing out on revenue. It's like, do you really think like they're making like a big buck off of that? But the biggest issue to me is they don't understand how the ecosystem works with this shit. That's why we keep failing in this fucking community. This is why we keep failing in this fucking genre. You know why? I'll tell you why. It's simple. You say it's stealing your content. They see it as educational content. Now, I can go here on YouTube. And, which, and you know, speaking of which, let's swap over to YouTube. Let's just do that. Most of these channels are meant to put up these matches for educational purposes, right? Because mad people can't play their characters a lot of people are not very good at fighting games right so they want to find a way to learn how to get better so the replay channels help for that i think it what was it ggst replays is the uh yeah so this is one of the channels alongside like what was it um there's game store ch that i used to use myself and it's kind of like what's the issue right so i get it right man's got 31k subs right now in their eyes this is all money 11k views 7k views 7.2k views 3.5k views 2.6k and i mean we can go through the list and just look at everything right and just see kind of like how the videos are doing but it also kind of shows the level of like i guess you can say uh interest for guilty gear strive amongst a lot of people okay cool right so if this is the average like kind of viewership of strive match videos without any kind of editing it's kind of not bad if you think about it right but the thing is you're not gonna out upload this guy you see what i'm saying for what it's worth if you guys didn't know this youtube only pushes three of your videos a day on youtube so you can upload like six and seven times in one day, but YouTube is only gonna push three. So you can have the content up there, but how well does it do for you if you're just uploading without care? Now, in some ways that's fine for a channel like this, right? It depends on your, it depends on how you work your channel, right? So for a channel like this, one video a day isn't really useful in a sense, but it, three a day is totally fine. But as you can see, from one day ago, look at this. This Milia, Kai, Soul, and Gold Lewis match, these are all from like one day ago. So four matches and one doesn't get pushed. So the first three get pushed and the other one doesn't. Okay, cool, right? Maybe he's okay with that, right? But that's his prerogative. Is this taking anything away from the players? Not necessarily. If anything, this is helping promote the players, right? Now, one thing that gets me, right? I remember it was Hotashi saying, oh, well, you know, you can at least credit the player. Well, who the fuck is this Bridget? It says GG player. Who is it? Do you know? I don't. But you know he's fighting Idom. You can see that. Clear as day. Fighting Idom. Right? There's Snake Eyes. You know? Acno, Varix. These two are more well known too, especially in the EU, right? So it's like if you know, you know. But don't no one know GG player. Who the fuck is that? That could be anybody. It could be me. It could be you. It could be Snake Eyes. It could be doesn't matter it could be anybody right and also in the videos like well you could at least credit the players right in like the description if your name is gg player 
How in the hell is he gonna know who the hell to credit? Doesn't make sense, right? Doesn't make any kind of sense. Like even me, mine doesn't even say Kentu. It says Apex Valkmane. That's my meme for playing Apex more than I was playing fighting games at the time, and it kind of just stuck. And I was like, I'm gonna leave it as Apex Valkmane. It's fine, you know. But everyone at this point knows it's me. It's it's in my videos. You see it. So it's kind of like it's accepted that that's me. People know that. I'm telling you guys here on this video, Apex Valkmane. If you see me in the streets, it's me. If you see Kentu, it's most likely me also, right? Is what it is, right? I have videos of me with the name Apex Valkmane because I like Apex. I like to play Valk. It's simple. And then to find everyone's at, find everyone's Twitter. Half some of these players don't even have a Twitter. So it's kind of like, how can you credit them if they don't have a Twitter or they don't stream? You see what I'm saying? Now, check this out. There were things that were also said in his video, right? About crediting players, right? So let's take a look. This is his channel, right? Now, I believe there was a video where he played like Snake Eyes, right? But we'll grab this one in particular, him versus Nubenheimer for one hour. Okay. So you're gonna tell the replay channel to credit said players in the description. In the fucking description, you're gonna tell people to credit them yet in your video you just put oh no one knows nubenheimer like that unless they're in the scene where's the credit now it gets worse these are the video tags and no channel tags now this might hurt just a little bit you ready this this might sting just a little bit Right? Okay, let's go to Bomba Bon. Right? In the description, he explains who's who, who's what, high level gameplay, playlist for all these things for players who want to learn how to play, right? About the socials. If I tag socials, then this should be done for all players without a single exception, not just for one person. Now, this is after the video, I believe, that he started, that they started putting this out here, right? This, like, disclaimer. Now, mentions that they respect the players whose match that they post therefore if you are sure that videos percentages as is are not acceptable i will stop posting content with your participation and remove the ones posted earlier if you want to go tag socials by yourself feel free to post usernames in comment section youtube may remove links now all the footage was captured by me directly from the in-game replay system openly available for all players to view share and public replays then edit in edit in davinci resolved all footage represented on my channel is copyright free the purpose of these videos is to provide educational high level content of guilty gear strive so the viewer can learn new combos and more makes sense right now you ready now here's the real kicker video tags well done good job channel tags well done video tags hello channel tags where description non-existent now here's the part where i really really hit it where it hurts you ready? What's this? What's this say right here? Can anyone tell me the uh, the sponsor that Hotashi has? Moist, right? It says Charlie and Ludwig. Okay. Can you explain to me how is it that you have Moist Critical under your belt with no editor? No SEO specialist? No thumbnails. But you want to come after the guy who's actually a YouTuber. Make it make sense. So he's upset 
about this dude and other replay channels uploading their replays and saying that they're making money off of them. The matches are in a free replay system that anybody can go download and watch on their PlayStation, watch on their PC, and now watch on the Xbox. Soon enough, Guilty Gear is going to be on the Switch. They're public replays. You can turn it off. That's what makes it so OD. You can turn it off. Yeah, I know game storage and when sold didn't either, right? But even if so, even if they monetize it, right? That's still their effort and that's still their time. It's not easy to go into the replay channel and just go snatch up replays. I mean, it is, but then you have to sit there, record it. You can't just download it. You have to sit there and let your PlayStation or your PC play. You know what I mean? How many replays can you get in one day? You know what I mean? Think about that. Think about that. But you're mad. Like, I want you to understand something, stream. And viewers watching this on the YouTube. Please understand that this exists in the other genres. Do you understand that? There is something that I use all the time. Right? This is in other genres. Right? And when I see stuff like this, I have to ask myself, uh, do you even understand, like, like at all, like what's going on, right? There's a channel I look at all the time, courtesy of Shugo Tenchi, and it is this one, just Apex things. And they post nothing but amazing highlights of all of the top players that play Apex and other players. I have found out more about this game, this, this game, this community, the streamers, the highlights, the cool plays tech from this channel. Now he's asked all these players, is it okay if he can do this? They've all agreed that it's okay for him to do that. Galaxy brain idea. Hold on just a minute. I'm gonna pump the brakes just a little bit here. Kinda wanna point out something a little extra here for this segment, right? Now granted, you know, this channel just apex things, you know, as I mentioned here in this segment, to my knowledge, he did ask a lot of the players if it was okay to do a lot of what he does on his channel. However, you have to understand games like Apex and like Valorant, for example, they don't really have a replay system at all in the game. You know, you can't record your replays or anything like that. You actually have to use, you know, streaming software, you know, OBS, you know, Streamlabs OBS, you know, Fraps, whatever. There's all kinds of other programs that you would have to use to be able to record your replays, which will allow you to actually look at your gameplay and actually kind of figure out what's going on with what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Otherwise, you kind of just play and play and play and there's no replay system to actually look at. So. That's a big reason why a channel like that is very, very helpful to the Apex scene. So just want to put that out there before anyone can take certain things out of context. So let's uh, get back to it. And now all these players have recognition. I've learned out. I've learned about Imperial Hal, Snipe Down, Sweet, Ace U, Timmy, Girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? There's just mad players. Freaking Lulu Lovely. Like, there's mad players, dude. Like, don't. Like, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, stop playing with me. Right? Who cool. Freaking, um, no Coco Puffs. Like, there's just map Nick Merckx. Like, there's buku ass players that play Apex that I follow because of this channel. Freaking Taxi 2G. It's kind of like, bro, these channels are here to help promote the players. The difference is in this community, they understand it's kind of like, hey, you know how they say big bank tank, little bank, just do it in reverse. Little bank help you make big bank. So if they promote you on their channel, they make $5 and you make 50. You're streaming all the time. You're getting more exposure on another channel. How are you losing? 
this dude makes i don't know let's say dude makes like 20k a year off of you you're still making double or triple that anyway from your stream from your sponsorships whatever the hell else these people got in, in algs like that's kind of od it gets better you know what it's not just apex hold on a second league challenger replays 360k like what are you telling me all these other esports games have these replay channels to help you learn how to get better but my dude sees it as oh man you're taking away my money <laughs> i'm gonna say it again you're sponsored by moist critical put me in that position i'm yo hey yo y'all just signed up with ludwig hey yo let's get it you think i'm not do you think for one second that i would take something like moist critical for granted that dude's putting that dude's lacing me up and then he got ludwig on the on the slide come on man stop playing with me like don't play with me that's an opportunity of a freaking lifetime i would not only just try to win i'm about to make some amazing ass content now i'm not saying hotashi's content is bad at all what i am saying is you can't come at someone who's actually doing youtube like you're a youtuber can otashi be better at youtube definitely but just slapping up you versus nubenheimer for one hour and this is your description you have no channel tags you have no like what is going on how are you with moist critical in that regard outside of a player so you can't I, I, this is, is this it's rough to say it but it's like you're not doing the things necessary to be a great content creator at this like with this you can't say you can't shout content creator and this is what you're doing you're not even like come on he gets an e for effort for doing everything that he's done so far and i have nothing but respect for that but you can't come at these dudes throats you can't come at the replay channel throats when they're doing what you should be and they're uploading at a different kind of volume and they're a different kind of content creator like the channel has a different purpose this channel's purpose is so not personable you see what i'm saying like ggst high level replays that's all this channel is gonna be his brand is completely different it represents him it can go wherever the fuck he wants it to go but you're coming after these motherfuckers for what for some free replay that anyone can go download? Come on, man, cut it out. Stop it, behave. For example, this is how Osman Gold got big. He used to tell, let, just let people make bank on YouTube off his streams until eventually he made he had to make his own channel when copyright rules changed on the site. But a lot of that content got huge because he was, he was lazy. I mean, I would love it if there were more people that were like, yo, we love Kensu stuff, dude. You know we're gonna take his stream highlights and we're gonna just make some cool shit of it if they asked me for it all right let's get it they gonna make bank i'm gonna make bank who's losing nobody come on man the fact that they want to do it in the first place i'd be f ecstatic now granted it's when you do it without asking that's kind of goofy or well, if you do it without asking but you credit okay fine if i catch it then obviously i'm gonna want to talk with you about it and say hey well, let's let's work something out at that point you see what I'm saying? At that stage. Like, come on, man. This is whatever. Like, this is, oh, like, look, these re 7K, just Apex things, just 8K, 9K, 7K, 16K, 38, 20K, 12, 17, 13, 20, 11. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's making a bank to keep doing it. But how much, how many, like, you know what I'm saying? How many times he has to sit there and watch their channels? He's doing it roughly by himself, to my knowledge. But, like, you can't be like me versus Nubenheimer for one hour. Like, I'm just saying, if you're going to be a, a, a content creator, you need to take on that role. But mad people in FTC don't get it. What, what irks me is that you have Moist Critical under your belt. And they're, like... The fact that you have Moist Critical under your belt, there's no reason to come after these kinds of channels. I'm like this close to damn near getting an editor. I'm like super, I'm down like this close. I'm very close to it. But don't you think it's kind of insane that you're coming after these guys? Like you gotta like, it's kind of unfair. 
like like i said before and there's also a difference i still think the replay challenge should try their best to credit the players at least you're asking for a tall order brother you want them to go find every player and figure out what's their tag and i agree with him if you want it taken down and you see it come after me and i got you but you're 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 asking i think it's a tall ask that's a tall task i respect it if every player had their actual tag that they use when they go to tournaments on their shit then sure then it's, it'll be easier to find them but it's i think it's a, it's too it's too tall of an order i think for the more notable ones obviously like obviously like snake eyes mochi you know what i'm saying maybe msy bomba bon some of these guys make sense to just tag them it makes sense you have to remember there's just mad players that just only care about just playing they don't care about that aspect the other genres do i mean this channel speaks for itself but like i'm with you it's just those players most of those players don't care about that if they did then they wouldn't do what they do or under their thing they put their twitch or something like that but a good chunk of those players don't even stream they may have a twitter but they don't you see what i'm saying like no even if you tag them there's nothing to trace back to outside of a twitter so it's a, it's almost like it's irrelevant anyway all the on this channel here i'm showing you with apex these motherfuckers all stream everyone that plays gg and other fighting games they don't fucking stream so it doesn't matter you see so like 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 that's my thing like it, it doesn't matter at that stage what are you tagging back to there's nothing it leads to nothing yeah it's just a, here's x player whoop de doo no twitch so the people watching can't get engaged with the motherfucker that's playing. But for some reason, Apex, Valorant, League of Legends, Dota, all these motherfuckers get it. Fighting games still stuck in the fucking dirt. Come on, man. It's crazy, brother. I just, I think what makes all this work in this ecosystem here in particular is just that like, these guys get it. It's, it's just, I guess I'm just, energetic about it because i just feel like his video was just kind of wrong in my book i don't really agree with it like i think you know apex has the big benefit of allowing everyone to be live during comp 2 so like they have a super hook for just expanding discoverability for sure i think after being in between both i prefer it this way well this way right if all the players understood this then they would just upload every day but you know what the other part of this shit is too huey and stream you know what you know what the tough pill to swallow is that ain't no one gonna say but me make better fucking content simple as that simple simple as that make better content most people don't seem to fathom make good content in the fgc you think just slapping up rank matches with no kind of edits is gonna get people to watch like what, what what hurts me is like if i click that video and i start watching it right there's no memes there's no nothing it's like i don't know let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments below talk to me how you feel about the content the quote-unquote content vultures stealing matches from the replay channels talk to me let me know let me get up out of here on the youtube video i'll take care deuces gooses